uh, Paul Gray from Audubon, Florida. Um, Audubon's a conservation group, and I've been working on Lake Okeechobee uh, for more than 30 years. Um, I'm an ecologist by training. My bachelor's, my master's, and my doctorate degrees from all the weapons and waterfowl and in birds. And so I've read all three of your plans. I've said a lot of comments on the Kissimmee plan so far. I'm making global comments for the, the three plans. Um, one of the things that you are pretty good in these plants is you guys list all the fish and you talk about all the fish, but then you don't list snakes or frogs or turtles or any other taxa. And if you think about all these non, all these vertebrates that are fish, they all live in the marsh. And this plant is predominantly about the marsh. And so they should be listed. We need a list of every single vertebrate in these lakes. And FWC has a thing called the, the State Wildlife Action Plan and it was adopted in 2019. And I went to that, and it lists species of greatest conservation need according to FWC and the Fish and Wildlife Service. And um, it has these species of greatest conservation need, terrestrial, freshwater, marine. And I looked at the freshwater species of greatest conservation need, and most of them were not even mentioned in any of these plans. The list that got black rails on Lake Okeechobee, thank you. Um, but most of them aren't even listed. They're not even considered. And I looked at the bibliography, and that plant's not even mentioned in any of the three plans. And there were 27 different FWC people who got credit for helping with these, most of them freshwater managers. And for them to not know or not remember that there's a, a plan that says these are the species you really need to, that have needs, that's really a big breakdown. And that's something that these plants have to fix. Um, you really have to expand your coverage of all the vertebrates in these, in these ecosystems. So that's something that that we're going to emphasize. Um, also, a lot of the definitions, the goals and objectives, they, they have words like healthy ecosystem and sustainable, but there's no definition of what that means. And, and we would like to see better definitions of when you say, I'm going to make a healthy ecosystem. What is that? How do you define it? Does it compare with the pristine system? Or, or what is it? You know, that those things would help everybody understand what you're talking about, because it sounds great, but everybody has a different idea. Um, and then I guess uh, I'll just wrap up. Uh, one of the things that we really think would be helpful is, is for FWC to take all three of these plans and get outside independent peer review. Um, you know you have a public relations problem with the public, so that would help the public see that outside experts look at your plans and either gave you a thumbs up or thumbs down or, or gave you advice. And working in Everglades and working in South Florida, we're used to peer reviews and that they're very useful. Sometimes they can be a little bit painful, but um, they, they can just give you outside input that really could be useful. And so we really hope you guys will do that and, and get these plans reviewed and then be able to adjust them, you know, according to what reviewers have to say. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir.